Hello and welcome back. Uh, so last video we have understand about events handling and in this video we are going to understand about uh, form handling. So how will you handle the forms in using uh, ReactJS? Okay. So I have uh, taken a backup of existing event handling and uh, uh, it's completely new now. And I have opened this on uh, here and this is no more events handling. Let's change this as a uh, forms handling okay fine so let's see how two way you can bind it okay so first of all I'll just start with a very basic example uh, thing is let me open a paint in this I will have I have a normal text box and what my plan is whatever I am typing inside a text box it should display exactly below the text box so this is actually an example of two-way data binding okay uh, so how this can be possible let's see uh, uh, the very first thing why I am saying is two-way is you need to bind data from template to component as well as component to template both the ways so what is this template component component to template so anything you want to bind from template to component template is a sense your HTML source code component is a sense your JavaScript state okay so template to component I want to transfer some data from HTML the UI design to the uh, component uh, is nothing but events sorry events handling okay and component to template that is data binding using this expression event handling is just normal function call okay let's see how to make this first of all I'll make a design of uh, this one so before that I'll create one components folder in this I create one JavaScript that is just say something called username just username dot JSX I need a snippet so I go to a notes function component I will copy the snippet and paste it change this to username and let's connect to app okay let's see yep so let's make a design of card and then we'll talk about it uh, let's say do we have a card design earlier uh, yes I have a card design I copy I will replace here so card header with BG primary and text uh, white let's say username see how username and inside of it I want to take I want to take a form so now let's take a form with uh, uh, input input type is equal to a, a text box with a class class uh, form control okay that's fine as empty text box and uh, below that I want to display some h3 uh, some text like this okay so design is ready my plan is whatever I'm typing in the text box I want to display as it is over here if I remove it it should remove from the content as well so how you do that the very first thing is you make some uh, you create a variable in your state okay and then you bind it here and here later on when you do some changes you update the state very simple thing is you create a variable first so let something is equal to use state in that I'll take uh, username 
with an empty text for example john okay so here what i do state and set a state so you have state and set state you have a data username is john and this john i want to display in the value field as well as this area so what you do for your input you will write value is equal to state dot username okay what happened inside of text box value is john and what about this guy here also i'll say state dot username you get a john so both the places john okay now this data is actually coming from where it's not a hardcore data is data coming from a state okay and now when i'm trying to change it you can't able to change it directly because this data actually coming from state and you can't modify the state just like that you must have to call a set state function to modify that if you can modify it affects here as well as here so how you modify this is you have to make an event we have done reverse it means in component i have a state data that i bind to html that is one way okay component to html binding is one way next to two way the other way is opposite when i do some changes on html then update the state changes on html is the sense events so let's make a change event and then get the value and update so what i do is on change is equal to update input one function okay i'll copy that i'll say let's update input is equal to a function okay so this will receive an event okay so whenever uh, simple javascript story whenever you call a function on certain event so that function will optionally receives a parameter the event itself that is the event so using this event itself you can get the value of the text box you enter it is event dot target dot value event dot target is a sense the targeted element and value is the value which you type inside of the text box and that i want to update to my state so how you update to state set state set state in this one uh, function it receive the existing state okay so username uh, sorry username data will be events dot target dot value that's it okay so event is a sense on change event event dot target means the target element on on change event is occurred value it means the input elements value which you have type and that automatically updating my username state and that's been already been binded in the location of here so now see the magic when i is working okay when i start typing okay so this is how two way data binding in react js works okay hope you that's clear simple you have to create a state and bind as a value property as well as wherever you want to display if if required you can use it otherwise not required uh, and also when you do some change event you must have to call a function there you have to update using event dot target dot value okay so this is all about uh, uh, two way binding and let's see in the next video with another example thank you